What's going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 1 in the Fundamentals of Physics Textbook, 8th Edition, by Joe Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And Problem 1 is uh, about average velocity and average speed. And the particular problem talks about a car that travels for 40 kilometers at 30 kilometers an hour and then after that it goes for another 40 kilometers at 60 kilometers an hour and part A asks for the average velocity during the total trip so let's start with our fundamental equation velocity equals distance over time now we need to find since we're looking for average velocity, we need total distance over total time. Now, we're given that the total distance is 80 kilometers, but we're only told what they, like how fast it was going during those times. So what we need to do is we need to break it up into two separate pieces. And we need to rearrange this equation up here so that we solve for t uh, the time because we already have the distance and we just need the time so we're going to do um, time one we'll say time of part one is going to equal the distance of part one over the velocity of part one and that is 40 kilometers over 30 kilometers per hour which is equal to 1.33 hours and time two, so the second half of the trip is 40 kilometers at 60 miles an hour, or sorry, 60 kilometers an hour, and that is 0.67 hours. And so now we have our times, and we know our total distance, and so we need to find total time, which is just these added together which is two hours. So to find our average velocity, we do 80 kilometers over two hours, and that is 40 kilometers per hour. So that is the average velocity over the total trip. And for part B, we are asked to find the average speed and so velocity is directional, so the direction in which you're moving matters, but speed is just the magnitude of your velocity. So it's just basically the positive version of your velocity. So if your velocity is negative 20, then your average, your speed is going to be just 20, positive 20. So we're going to do the absolute value of 40 kilometers per hour, and that is 40 kilometers an hour. So these two are the same answer. And for part C, it wants to know if we were to graph x versus t, so x being distance, so we'll put a d here for distance and t here for time, um, how would you find the average velocity? So let's just put here one hour and two hours for our time, and we know it goes 80 kilometers, so let's do tick marks up to four, up to uh, 80, sorry, up to 80 here. So in the first four, we, we know it goes 40 for 1.33 hours, so we'll do that about right there. And then we know at two hours it's at 80, so we'll do right there. And so we will draw a line to those two. And the way you would find your average velocity is you would take these two points and you would do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is equal to the slope of the line, of not the line, but the slope of the line formed by those two points. And so we know our y2 here is 80 minus 0 over 2 minus 0, which is equal to 80 over 2, which equals 40 which is the same thing we got up there. So that's problem one of chapter two. 
If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, help me out and subscribe. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.